Hi, hello, how are you doing? I hope everything is just fine. I finished Inktober 2020, my actual first Inktober. And, well, it was it was fun, it was a rough one, but it's okay, you know, nothing too crazy. Uh, you can see me just uh, putting on the Inktober 2020 logo, and also on the bottom, I wrote 2020 because I'm planning, spoilers, I'm planning to do the other prompts prompt list from 2016, 17, 2018 and 19 as well. So I'm gonna have quite a few more sketchbooks and I'm gonna do them in the future. So I have to keep track of it, right? Right? Anyway, <laughs> I hope you saw all the parts, part one, part two, part three. Uh, you know, I took all the prompts and made them in the different parts so that it wouldn't be a whole long video, it would be just, you know, 10 parts, uh, sorry, 3 parts with 10 minutes, uh, but yeah, let's just, let's just get into it, right? So I'm just doing this because, just to have like a nice uh, recap, roundup, or whatever it's called, as you can see also, so this is the first page, I just made it, um, not the first page to cover, I just you know, painted it, tried to make it look nice, but oh well, it was ever nothing too crazy. I also made the sketchbook myself because I needed the specific number of pages, 31, you know, like 31 prompts, like the, this whole prompt list, because there are 31 days in October, so yeah, I don't know, I didn't make up the rules, whatever. <laughs> I also wrote the prompt list down from this year, 2020, and you know, it's nice to keep track of it. I know that Inktober this year has gotten a bunch of slack because the creator Jake Parker has was in some controversies and because um, he plagiarized the how to draw book. But honestly, I don't care about the controversies. It's not like I support the guy. I just like having a prompt list or words that dictate what to draw and when to draw. Because sometimes I'm in an art block and it's nice to just have, you know, guidance. But yeah, that's the prompt list. And this is just like a remembering of what I did, like a turn not turnaround, what's the word? Recap? Retrospective? Retrospective? Yeah, you know, like going back at my drawings and seeing what's up with them. Um, yeah, first prompt, fish. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> this first batch was kind of boring for me, or I'm not impressed by them because this was wisp. It's just a bouquet of flowers, but oh well, I think it's okay. I wasn't too creative, like I said. Like this one is the an original one. I, I, I mean, I came up with it, it's just a dwarf. Um, and it was supposed to be bulky, so I think it, you know, the word works for it. I don't know, hopefully, you tell me. I always ask you for feedback. Also, <laughs> I've seen a comment, a friend of mine um, commented, uh, are you an Inktober now? And yeah, yeah, shout out to you, Poovan. I am an Inktober now because <laughs> I'm doing Inktober prompts and it's like, it's just a nice play on words. So thank you. Best comment. Comment of the of the week. Comment of the month. <laughs> I'm an Inktober now. But yeah, like I said, the first part, maybe you also heard it in the voiceover that I was kind of done with. I didn't put too much effort in it. Like Ratatouille, it was, the prompt was rodent and I just do Ratatouille with a hat on. Ooh, originality. But yeah, most of them had um, um, just really weird words. Um, but yeah, like fancy, what am I supposed to do? So usually I just Google it if I don't know what I'm drawing. But for this one, I just, uh, first thing that came into my head was those uh, concept arts from Dishonored. I put them in the... Um, video so that you would know what I'm talking about so I just drew this like fancy Victorian looking guy right crazy also teeth just don't google teeth okay it's just disturbing disturbing so I just drew the tooth very struggling bringing the teeth up like you know flying with the teeth with a bag of teeth with a mesh uh, bag I think it's called a mesh bag, I don't know. But there's really minimal effort, like it didn't add any shading or anything. I could have added some shading, right? 
like in the obvious areas, but 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 I just didn't. I mean, let me just. <laughs> I will. Uh, and yeah, I usually draw myself in most of these or some of these. And uh, the prompt was throw, and I hate when there are actions because I don't know how to do actions in an illustrated form. But hey, this is me playing frisbee. I actually do play frisbee. I love playing frisbee. Um, but yeah, throw. I was throwing a frisbee crazy. Also, hope in emotion. I cannot do emotions like at all, like draw emotions or do emotions. <laughs> but um, this was hope. I just drew a just just a girl being hopeful, right? Right. Oh well. And this was in part two. Finally, I got I got more inspiration, and as you can see, like these first few ones were really boring, just not no depth to it. So hey. I just drew uh, Gordon Ramsay holding a blobfish because when I Google disgusting and honestly I don't find blobfishes or blobfish disgusting I just found, find them sad <laughs> cute you know but yeah Gordon Ramsay just says disgusting and he's holding a disgusting blobfish but yeah I think it turned out pretty good I gained a bit of confidence so I had some shading Honestly, that's what it's a sketchbook for, right? To just try stuff out. I don't particularly think that this worked out, but it kind of looks like Gordon Ramsay. Um, what was this? Fish? No, no, not fish was the other one. Uh, slippery, yeah. Um, so I just didn't know what to draw. I just wanted to draw a guy falling over, but I was like, no, nah, let's be ambitious. So I drew a sandwich with a bunch of slippery stuff. And there's like some goo from the sandwich. There's, uh, okay, from the bottom up, bread, fish, soap, a banana peel that I didn't know how to represent it better, topped off with uh, a bread and some ice cubes and just, you know, like a slippery watch out sign so that you wouldn't, I don't know, slippery, bro. It's kind of disgusting, but you know, it's more creative than the rest, like Dune. I hate that word. Should I was I just going to draw a sand dune? What do you want me to draw? Some of these prompts are so annoying. What? Just whatever. I do Timothy. I do. I, I didn't do him. I drew him. <laughs> I don't want to do Timothy Chalamet, even though he has like a perfect face face structure. But oh well. I drew Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya from the Dune upcoming Dune movie, and they were like. The third remade remade of the movie. I don't know. I didn't watch Dune. I don't care about it. But I drew Dune. That's the word. I, I did it. Also, I put some shading in. You know, it's good to experiment. I think it turned out pretty good. Like Zendaya looks like Zendaya. Uh, Timothy doesn't look like him. I, I don't know. It looks alright. I don't know. Armor looks pretty good. Honestly, I really like it. I could have added more, but I didn't want to add more because I was kind of scared. But yeah, I just drew like the, the most important highlights, you know, so that it would look like it's reflective. I'm not really familiar with drawing reflective stuff, but oh well, it is what it is. Um, outpost? Yeah, outpost, I don't know. I just drew an outpost. I think this is an outpost. It was a very vague um, definition of the word, but hey, it's an outpost. It's like a fire watchtower. From, from the Firewatch game. Oh well, this has got to be my favorite one, this one and the next one, Storm. But this one was Rocket and I just drew it from my head, Rocket. Of course I looked up how Rocket's outfit actually looks like, but yeah. It looks pretty good. I was actually really confident as you can see, like trying to make more ambitious drawings. Storm, I just drew Storm from a reference because it's good to follow references. It's not your art, I know. I hate drawing from references, but you gotta build up that... Oh, I have some ink on my finger. Sorry about that. That might be distracting. But yeah, I just don't like to draw from references, but sometimes you gotta, because you gotta build up that library of images in your head, you know? So this was a good one, like with the action lights and like, you know, storm. Um, it's a trap. That was the word. It's a trap, dude. It's just a fucking trap. <laughs> Dizzy. Um, 
this was part two so of course I added myself and I just added myself being kind of dizzy but it looks like I'm having like brain waves like Professor X type of deal but oh well Coral it's a meme I drew Coral from The Walking Dead holding a coral 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 you know it's there I could have added more shading like in the hair and and anywhere everywhere uh, this was part 3 already uh, the prompt was sleep of course I drew myself I'm sleeping yeah I just love these positions you know of course I was a bit tried to be a bit more ambitious also with the hair but yeah sleep have you seen chef because I haven't <laughs> El Jefe Chef, that was the the prompt. Uh, what John Favreau? John Favreau's movie. I heard it's a good movie, but oh well. Maybe you know from it because you're watching Max Mo for How to Basic, and it was like an inside joke meme. Uh, that oh rest in peace. This was rest in peace, and I drew a zombie character. You know, being revived because it's October and it's spooktober, and I didn't have anything like ooh spooky, so I just drew this. Turned out okay. Kind of messed up here a little bit, but it's all right. Also, when I'm doing ink illustrations, I just have these fingerprint marks because I'm just super messy. So whatever, whatever. Yeah. Also, <laughs> I named him Dead Dead Man because I didn't want to have an actual name. So yeah. He died in 1969. A no, he was born in 1969. A and died in October. What year? We don't know. <laughs> if you're wondering, it's right, bra moment. Yeah, uh, dig. You know, I also tried this um, dot type of um, shad shading, shading. Yeah, and I just drew a dog, a beagle digging dig right buddy hey, it's a buddy of mine and I drew him I asked him actually if, he, if I can draw him for a prompt because I didn't know what to draw with a buddy because usually I draw myself in every inktober part right so I just drew my buddy it didn't turn out too good it looks terrified but he had the funny expression on in the picture so I didn't know how to represent because I don't know how to shade like naturalistic looking things with like ink right because it's just so harsh I cannot have a gradient it kind of looks like him oh well whatever hide and I know hide from Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is written with a Y but I drew hide hiding from Dr. Jekyll no yeah hide is the bad one right oh well Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde hide is hiding from Dr. Jekyll and also Dr. Jekyll is kind of hiding from Hyde but now that I look at it it kind of looks like Dr. Jekyll locked him up and he's scared I don't know bro um, music dude I hate prompts like this music what do you expect me to draw I draw I drew a uh, for for uh, I don't know how it's called phonometatron for uh, you know those hipster stuff with the <laughs> I don't know words anymore maybe Inktober should have helped me with words but oh well music whatever ah, I don't know what's the name for no metron for I'm just making up transformers names <laughs> float um, raised by wolves ne the necromancers float you know they're like these powerful beings and I don't know what's that okay <laughs> they're just powerful beings that are floating so I was watching um, I was watching the show and I really like it so yeah floating necromancer here it is it was honestly kind of difficult to fit it in the page but I think I managed to do a good job also shading oh well it's all right um, shoes right yeah that's the next one shoes just a guy with a smoky head this is really trendy on tumblr and like drawing and I didn't know what to draw so I just drew this guy squatting slav squatting and I drew him like really nice shoes that I made up shoes man shoes ominous dark forest 
guy hiding in the background, ominous, it's the most ominous place I can think of. What, what? I don't know, man, I'm not that creative. I just draw stuff, okay? And you can see I used a bunch of paint, uh, um, ink. I used a bunch of ink here and it bled through, but that's okay. It didn't come through here. And the last one was crawl, and I drew a baby crocodile because crocodiles are crawling, babies are crawling, baby crocodile, mash them together, bam, crawl. <laughs> that's it. Disgusting piece of cardboard. That was it, man. 31 days, 31 drawings. Which one was your favorite? Let me know. My favorite, I think, was Storm and Rocket Raccoon. Dude, this turned out pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming to watch my Inktober sketchbook tour 2020. 2020. See you in the next videos. See you in the next Inktober prompt list, prompt thingy. I'm gonna do the next one, I don't know, way later next year if you want more inktober stuff from me there's an inktober 52 prompt list going around which are 52 drawings i'm still working on it because 2020 is not done yet but hey thank you for watching thank you for listening thank you for doing the youtube stuff and yeah have fun take care take it easy okay i love you take care <laughs> goodbye bye bye bye